With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In the circuit, P is not equal to R. Uh, the reading of the galvanometer is same with switch is open or closed. Then, so they are saying that this is a circuit where P, Q, R are three resistors and here you have one galvanometer G connected at this point and along with that a switch S is connected where this switch S will be either open or closed but the condition is P and Q are not equal. So if that is the situation then what condition goes true? Which condition can be applied in this case that they are asking? So here you can see to the circuit if this switch S, this switch S has no effect with respect to these resistors because see to the current flowing from here, the current splits into two like this, okay, I1 and I2. Let us say these two are I1 and I2 where you have a main current I here. Then this I1 current passes through this point, resistor P and here if the switch S is open or closed, it will not flow here, it will flow along this Q. Right? And the same I2, it will flow along the same way along G. Now, as you can observe, the current simply flows through G and from here, from P, it flows through Q. So, as there is no change in the reading of the galvanometer, which switch is open or closed. So, even though if it is open or closed, the galvanometer does not show any change in it. This implies that the bridge is balanced. So, you can say that since the galvanometer has uh, no change in reading whether S is open or closed whether S is open or closed which implies that this means that the bridge is balanced. So this means that the bridge is balanced and you can see when the bridge is balanced, uh, what will be the consequence? You can say that the current through S is 0. So IS will be equal to 0. And when current through S, if it is equal to 0, it means that the whatever the uh, current which is flowing across R, the same current will flow across G. So, IR will be equal to IG and whatever the current flows through P, the same current flows along Q also. So, IP will be equal to IQ. Now, see to the options you have, IR is equal to IG you have. So, option 1 is the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.